The last time I heard him talk was when it was day one, an hour into his play experience, he said, I, this game, I hope it dies. That was the last thing I heard him say. <laughs> Solo queuing, where I'm watching that solo queuing, and which one will be the best for four staff like ourselves? Like, which one are you gonna be that actually feel like you're making? Because so many people solo queue in this world. Lots. Uh, everything. Yeah. Which game mode are you gonna be able to feel like? Oh, I actually helped my team win the most. In? Hard point, probably. Yeah, I would disagree. But, yeah. <laughs> I'd say the zone capping one. See, I was gonna say push. Whatever it's called. That's See, I was that, I was actually gonna say domination. domination. I'm not even kidding. The conversation you're listening to is very unique for YouTube. Not only do we all live together and play together for the No Field team, but we actually didn't play together or talk about the game for the first week. So this conversation really is a very genuine look at each one of our opinions. So if there's anything you agree with or disagree with with any one of the boys, make sure you let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I actually didn't say no. Mm -hmm. I think because if I don't know if you guys realize, if someone actually just sits on the bot, it just moves. Yeah, so it's, it's all like, about sitting on the if bot. If you want to just yeah. sit on it with a sub, like it'll just move. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you don't want to play every ranked play game, you get it like that. But I mean, you're winning, and you'll probably be behind your leaderboard, so yeah, I'll probably get more SR. I just feel like <clears throat> Dom people like because there's three points like you can't set up as good so you can actually break points easier mm -hmm. like if you're playing solo and you're trying to break a point alone like without a team um it's easier to break a point with two guys or one guy on it than like a four stack mm -hmm. and like you can like you can flank to their d and then people have to come off it to yeah. you and then your team can jump on a point you can be yeah. a nuisance more in it yeah without like dying instantly like if you when you try and solo cap especially in push like push i found the hardest to play alone in especially in the choke areas like in the choke areas it was yeah because the other team even if you're not calming everyone just sits in the choke yeah farming you yeah so like there's nothing you can really do yeah they're constantly in good setups and stuff it's hard if you're not team coordinated to break and push i mean domination if you play a good team it's the hardest game to play against. i think so Oh, it's because because they control the spawns, they control the flags, they control like the caps. They like you know because like the whole point of Dom is like controlling the two points and not flipping spawns. Mm -hmm. So even if someone does does come, you like have to like flush or whatever. But you constantly know where everything is on the map. Yeah. Whereas playing solo, you kind of like you have no map control. You're by yourself. Just like I don't know. Even if you go for the back spawn, you're flipping or if not. Yeah. Because you can't flip when there's like a guy back there anchoring. But that makes mm -hmm. sense to me. I'm gonna say, what do you say? Hard point. Just well, hard point. Just because some of the maps, it'll be. We'll see what the maps are. I guess for the pubs situation, if all the maps are open, then this will definitely be true, and we'll see about ranked. But some of the hard point maps are a complete fuck show, right? So there's no setups. There's no. It's get in there and try and win some gunfights as best you can, right? Arena, uh, the the one the cowboy, cowboy one. There, it's a shit show. So. Yeah, I mean, I think hard point you could have some success because at the end of the day, you're probably just, it's not really going to change your play style that much, um, I don't think. Um, that's my guess. But... And I also think most people, like, if you're solo queue, you know how to play hard point, whereas, like, some of the yeah. game modes, they don't really know how to play no. exactly, push exactly, and then, uh, like, even Dom or the Cap one, they don't know how to play it because it's kind of a newer game mode, whereas yeah. hard point ever kind of knows, get to the yeah. point, defend the point. Yeah. Good players are very very hard for me to kill yeah some guys make some this if that's what my screen looks like sometimes and i hope it does i feel bad for people trying to kill me. Oh, <laughs> like anyone i think sometimes kill i'm them. like what's what is my screen looking at i can't kill i wonder people. i've been trying to like be the guy to find out the new slide cancel like game mechanics every game has one so i've been trying this jump slide jump jump slide thing doesn't work don't worry but I wonder what that's going to be. Because that's going to look funky around the map when someone figures out how to do it. The I'm fastest probably... I've felt you move is if you jump, slide, yeah. and jump, slide, yeah. jump. Like, that's the fastest. Okay. I wonder if anyone's ever going to figure out with a pistol, too. Yeah. Like, he, good players are going to change to their pistol and change back to their gun when they suspect they're about to see. Change. I saw your subs built like mine, and I think my subs faster than my pistol. I have no idea. The sub if they're built pretty quick, but the ARs, they're slow. Yeah. They're slow. So I use the main, the first pistol, not because it's the best, but because it's, it's the fastest. For sure, its mobility is the highest.
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a general movement, and then for me, like, the but thing sorry, that I can... I'm talking about motherfuckers in 1v1s. So jumping. Like, no, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah what I'm doing this. that's what, what I'm talking about. It's something about the jump mechanic. They are doing the strafe jump in the air, so they know they already are figuring out and this is what we're going to have to do. And, like, it's going to be difficult for me. Like, you guys are probably going to be able to get it down. But I'm going to have to practice this. But, Ricky, I'm saying but I might be doing We might be doing it. I, no, 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 no. I'm probably, no, 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 I don't, I don't know. know how I won that. I'm probably strafing and jumping. Because I'm already strafing. And then I jump. And now I'm just continuing to strafe. These guys are jumping and going back and forth. So they're doing this with their joystick. As they jump, they move it back and forth. And as they engage the next jump, they move it once, like one time, one time. Then they land, then they jump, and they move it back. So as their player is in the air, it's this. That's what their player is doing when you're trying to shoot at them. So it's all I'm saying is it's going to be doing it though. No, you because you, no, no. I was pr trying to practice when I just respawn, jump, and like get back when I was waiting for the other team to come. Because to do it properly, you have to. It's, it's such a weird movement for your fingers because your ADS, you jump, that's normal. But then you have to, as you jump, move your character stick, which you never do. No, when we you all jump. do. Yes, you do. You not don't back and forth. Yes, you do. Not, not back and forth. I don't think we know we're doing it. Uh, maybe. I'm you sure do. I I have good games. So I'm if sure you watch I your gameplay, it's like, holy shit, I actually strafe way yeah. more than I think. Yeah. And it's like in the air, I can guarantee you at least... Some of us, a killer two, I bet your screen's sure. look like that on their screen. Because you're spamming jump and you're spamming straight back and forth. Yeah, I mean, like, I would even feel bad for saying I do it because I have the pro remote and I just spam it. Like That's I, what I'm saying. Tunnel. Yeah, that's what I do. But one thing I did, I have started to do, which is just a tip that I got from Crim6 when I was watching their interviews, is he said the more you aim with this stick, the less accurate you're going to be. And you should always just try and aim with this. Didn't know that. People probably just clicked off because apparently everyone knows that. <laughs> but... That's just, that's auto straight. So when you're fighting someone, you're trying to line it up with this joystick, you're just automatically already doing this because you're trying to aim with this. So that's how I've been trying to aim now and not with this, just this for vertical. So I, I'm i sure, and I'm just spamming this. So I'm sure I'm accidentally doing that. These guys are doing it on purpose. And I'm sure like Noah, Cook, I mean. Noah Cook probably does some weird, weird shit with this. Yeah. Because that's, he's been doing that in Vanguard, I think somehow. So I'm, there is guys, obviously they're just, insane at doing it but i'm sure we all do it a little bit a little bit yeah it's gonna be to be tricky computer players can do it for the easiest just because they can put their two inputs like because you have to go with the controller both sides yeah. as fast as you can where they just hit the button so a lot of time in battle you'll do if you jump one way and then you like all like input the opposite one you instantly stop in the air so it's just a little peck so i think computer players just have the advantage in that regard but, i mean i don't know if control players can do it as good. one thing krim also said that i do find is true being on the other side trying to aim like this or no it was eggs who said this they were talking about the jump strafe like you're talking about they said it's the best mechanic use it to shoot they said it's harder to kill people if you start jump strafing mm. while they are they said it's natural for them to just follow because you're you two are doing the same thing but they, they said if you literally stop crouch and just start shooting the guy mm. he has to re, re he has to use both to, sticks and he has to come back to where he you're at both sticks, whereas yeah. if you're both jump strafing like this it's just a battle of like who hits more shots yeah but if i stop doing that and i'm just aiming He's at you, you have to, yeah you have to you have to re-aim i don't have to re-aim i'm just aiming at you and you're strafing in the air so you have to re-aim back to me but if we're both strafing and jumping in the air we're both just doing this so if you stop and then he's doing this he just shot on either side of you yeah so they said that's a good tip I came from Aix, guy, one of the guys who helped make the game. So I think that's a decent tip. I hope that's true because then it will, it will help. It obviously it's advantageous for us if this game has as many players as possible, and that would be a nice counter so that low scale players don't have to learn how to do that shit. You know what I mean? Because that will be that'll that'll turn so many people away. Well, I'm not gonna that, lie. Because in six months, man, like people are gonna be so fucking good at moving in this game. The shit we're seeing now is gonna be most players and then there's me some players like, i'm not learning how to do that shit and they just stop playing the game after die <laughs> yeah but in cod you don't have to do that kind of shit well one of the best players i played obviously there's lots of meth out crack adhd guys like that but he was legit just crowd shooting mm. and like i he had like 60 kills mm. and i was finding it so hard to kill him because every time i'd slide jump around a corner and he would just he would hit me with every shot and he would just crouch and he was obviously a really good player he wasn't just walking around the mouth yeah. crouch but I do think there's going to huh. be ways to like 
countered some of the mechanics. Interesting. That's, that'd be sweet. It's the battlefield. That'd, that'd be battlefield that'd actually be sweet. Do you know what's another thing that's gonna separate pro teams from good teams? Is the guys that like just rip your head off. Li yeah. Like literally just shoot the head. Oh yeah, the multipliers. It's Perfect. nice. <laughs> The legs, like it's, there's no point. You know, I heard no. someone say that. I like, said that, yeah. Especially with the sub, dude. Oh yeah, the sub. But the sniper, if you shoot them in the leg, it does like 50 damage. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like that's how yeah. drastic the. And if you shoot them in the head, it's like 260 or whatever the multipliers. I'm just saying, like the multipliers. Are it's a there. huge skill gap, man. Because the good players are just gonna shoot your head. They're yeah. not even gonna fuck around and just shoot your. They're not even gonna aim for your body ever. No, no. Especially come from COD, where headshots didn't really matter no. in the last game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird. Lethals and tactical, should we break into that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you guys all know my opinion. Let's hear it. Well, my, for thinking of the team, I was going to say me or Wyatt. We run a stick grenade. Who's using EMP, EMP so far? Is it good? It's the best one by far. Is it? It's not even close. I was going to say me, one runs it, because stickies are, they get all your hand quicker than the frags, and they obviously blow up quicker. One there and one sub, if we're actually playing as a team and hitting shit together, uses the MP. They're quick attacks. They they go off quick. Yeah. And the frag is really good that I find still. Like the blast radius is big. Oh, yeah. And ARs with that, throwing it over over hills and stuff. Cooking it. Cooking it. I was thinking that would be the best combination. The two subs use this the flash and the sticky. Mm. Or like the EMP and the flash and then the ARs use yeah. the grenades yeah. and then you can use a bouncing Betty. <laughs> that's what i was thinking personally that was my team comp but for no, the, that's not bad for a solo player uh, i mean the frag is the frag. yeah i still okay. think the stick is the best so in this game i've noticed it it's the same thing with any game though i feel like it's like yeah one gets in and you dodge it most nades you dodge right maybe you get hit markers or kills 20 percent of the time kind of thing and if you cook a nade properly like and I was just noticing that at Call of Duty, even like trying to get better at it, because I suck at throwing tacticals. So I was trying to get better at cooking nades. You're really good at cooking nades. Obviously, sitting beside you, you know, catching up, picking up on that. So in this game, I was thinking about it more. And yeah, it's just like with the sticky, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Like, you, you get out of the way. You just get out of the way. Where if you time your nade, your cooked nade properly, but for the subs, it's a little different because you're up close. You gotta and... think, like, half the time I'm throwing my nade, it's, it blows up quick. Like, you know, dead nades. Yeah, frags like we all use frags in league play, Call of Duty. But this game, I noticed it works really well because everyone slides corners, throwing it on a side he's gonna was gonna mm. come. So now you force him to the other side, and the animation's all along, and it blows. Yeah, up no, faster. that's fair. Yeah, your play style is probably gonna end up being. I think it just comes down to a speed thing. Yeah, like the frag cooking it up where you want to get off spawn for a little bit and throw it straight. Yeah, but you can speak on the MP if you want. I know she used it too. But... I won't say it's the best. They're all different. I want to say quickly the the stun grenade in this game is the best stun grenade I've ever seen in the game. Yeah, it like yeah. stuns you IRL. <laughs> like oh, it's actually it actually does something. It might be like too much or something. I don't know, but at I, least they tried. When you get stunned, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. I even inverted, so it's black. I actually think like my game crashes for a second. I'm like what's going on? Yeah, it's insane. I saw a tip in the loading screen that if you spin away from it, it less dampens. I was wondering yeah, that, like, in a Ballard or You know, I used to talk about dead Yeah, that's what I was doing when I was first started using it. You would throw it, I'd look in a corner, and then they would chow, and then mm. you're unflashed because you're looking this way, and you mm. can kill them. I was doing that. So it didn't flash you at all? No, if you're looking mm. away from it. But it also felt like it was very inconsistent when you throw it, because I feel like if you ever look at it even a little bit, you're always getting flashed. So it was mm. kind of like, that wasn't fun, but... No, I think all the lethals and tacticals are pretty good. Mm. The bouncing betty's just annoying, but uh, the MP's cool though, cause like even when you just, cause everyone just throws nades at points for no reason, you just get out of the way. The EMP will get rid of all those shields. It gets rid yeah. of the heal ability. It gets rid of the bouncing betty. Mm. Don't quote me on this. I'm 99% sure today when I was playing. Don't say alt. I threw it, and it canceled the grenade. Some threw. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure. I've tried redoing it today, but I, I no one for some reason no one naded me in the last two games I played. Mm. But I'm like 99 percent sure. Be I don't know like for sure. sure. System. Yeah, but it also it also if you see someone tune up that flamethrower thing I use the breacher drone, it's it blocks that out. It like it just does a lot. Like it'll block the breacher drone as it's coming. Yeah. Like it'll stop it. Yeah, it'll blow it up. Will you detonate at your feet? Does it deactivate yeah. shields if they're already placed? Yeah. Hmm. 
Wow. Deactivated shields. De it literally does everything. And I'm not. Well, that's how you break hard points. <laughs> well, I was gonna say if you're on a point and it does do grenades, or even maybe it was a stun. If it does any of those, which would make sense because it does do the the bouncing Betty. Mm -hmm. So if it does grenades, if you're on a point, there's three grenades. You can just detonate it at your feet, mm -hmm. and you'll get EMP. But all those grenades just go away. I'm like 99 percent sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And it's pretty testing. quick. It just it's gone. Yeah, and it's just as quick as the stun. I don't know. I found it pretty good. And it and it. The guy it EMPs him, so he can't use his ability anyways. Mm -hmm. Like he can't. That'd be interesting in the hands of the dead sec. Yeah, that's obviously like you're just in the ultimate. Awesome. One yeah, on one. Fight. The, what what are we called in con? Street killers. No, yeah, I think they're all actually really like strong. All the tacticals. The problem is there's no trophy system. Like as soon as you're on a point, everyone spawns in their nady and stuff. But do you feel like it's actually too much for you? Yes. Really? Well, there's just no I, dude. Every single time, like me and Noah are playing, mm -hmm. one like if the team knows what they're doing and they use their tacticals, you're screwed. Like yeah. every single time they're dead, they're either stunning you, nading you, or yeah. EMPing you, and you're kind of like, what the hell? Like you can't do anything about it. At least the shield does block them. It doesn't do the EMP though. Like, if a team throws an EMP and then a stun, and, like, that's literally... A team was running four stuns against me, and no one is impossible to do anything against it. Like, is it's it? like... Yeah. Because no. you don't have a trophy system in it. Yeah, it. and as far as, like, a mm. like a duo, if one runs the EMP. Like, because I... Like, once you... Because people don't really know what they're doing yet, and obviously we've all picked up a couple plays that no one knows how to... No one knows how to counter because the game's just so new, but, like... Like, the one you were saying, detonating, you know they're going to slide around a corner... You could, when I see someone post up with a shield, I would know they, they, people would always look the other way of their shield or just hide behind their shield, right? Like, obviously. If you EMP that and insta child and just started pre firing, yeah. since it blows up in like half a second, you would usually kill that guy. Cause he'd be like, what is this idiot doing? And then you're just, I don't know. I found that pretty useful. Yeah, that, that sounds good. And I will say this there's, they've already told us in the next year, there's gonna be four. Five new fact fractions. I could bet my life on it. One of their abilities would be a trophy system. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to put it where every player can use one. Like it can't be attack. Yeah. And if it's not in the game already, I think it will just be part of a character's loadout. But it'll never become attack because then there's four on the map. Then literally everything's useless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, just like in COD. And, and useless. maybe and maybe uh, grenades are useless, right? And now me as a COD player never learned how to use grenades properly because you never had to use them. Again, maybe these devs are just maybe the devs are like legitimately are like this game's really good it's going to find its feet it's going to survive and to make sure we make it survive is we're not going to put a trophy system in yet so people use all the nades so people learn how the emp grenade works so that when the trophy system comes in people still have that understanding and people try to work around it and maybe it's the same thing with like search and destroy as well, right? Who knows? But that, yeah, you're probably right. Trophy has an ability, not an alt. Yeah, it's an ability. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I like that comp though. I never thought I haven't been thinking about like diversifying the tacticals. So that's interesting. And I definitely didn't know the EMP would cancel shit. It cancels all abilities, even if they're triggered already, yeah. which is crazy. Yeah, the cool, the craziest one is that heal, the, the group heal the one, because yeah, like I that's mean, such a heavy ability you have to use, where it's like such a long cooldown yeah, and it's so you useful. Need to ruin it. And then four people just jump on it, and then you just chuck a EMP cross mm. map. And mm. just ruins does it thing. disable it or does it take, does it break it? It breaks it. Doesn't it break it? I have no idea. Mm. It, I'm pretty sure it breaks it. Does it? Yeah. Hmm. What what did you think it did? I just didn't know if it disabled it because it would be a better if it just disabled it for a couple seconds. Because it's thirty seconds long, so you'd still oh, get yeah. like twenty. No, yeah, it breaks it. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, no, I think you're definitely a dead sec with uh with the MP and just constantly be MP and all games. Because were you here when we the the dead sec fabricates new grenades? Hey, yeah, that's cool. Just infinite yeah. MPs. It'd probably be better to have infinite, like one of the damage. That's the ones, thing, right? Is you'd have to, because you'd only. Let's say. They, never, they could never really ability. Not never ability, but you could break hills pretty easy. And yeah. Just constantly going in pieces pretty well. Like, it's hard to defend. It's going to be so cool if, like, teams have different comps. Like, it'll be unfortunate if every team, which most likely will, because there will be a meta way to play and everyone's going to do it, but it'd be pretty sick if it was, like, fuckboys were playing a dead sec team. 
mm. that like the dead set guy has the MP grenade. He's just constantly stopping your your ability usage. And it's like that's just a new t- type of team you have to play against, right? Where you might play against a fortifying team that has two healers and two shield guys, and they're just tanks yeah, that you can't kill. I don't. I would put a gun in my mouth and say. You're not allowed to stack characters. Well, that was my mm-hmm. that was my only question I, I came up with. Brain. My question was, <laughs> do you think the fact? Sorry, sure, we're not going to talk about it. You just said I'm putting a gun in my mouth. It's not. <laughs> right. always putting guns in my mouth. That was my only. That was my only actual question was, do you think the factions in this game will play like how Overwatch? If someone's running Doomfist, you have to run Orisa or yeah. Reinhardt, or do you think since there's such a limited amount of them and it's we think it's going to be rules. Uh, faction roll lock. roll lock like do you think it won't be a faction well sorry I will say you guys straight now that you brought up a watch there probably will be a rank play where you can well, he was any character you want but mm. the better one will just be the roll lock I think it will be more competitive anyways so now I'm talking I can answer that uh, as of right now no but when there's more characters maybe I just don't know like just saying every team you play if there was roll lock and there's five characters Every team's gonna use a heal guy. Every team's gonna use the echelon guy. So let me and actually before you go, it's funny you're guy. going this way. Lev, I was just gonna ask this generally, and it would be a nice talking point. In do your guess, what's the one character we wouldn't use, or a high quality team wouldn't use, if it is roll locked? I would guess the echelon. Really? But no, actually, because his walls is. Insane. That's a, that's the only reason I think the characters. Will- is good because his alt's good, but everyone's alt can be good. No, I actually forgot he had that. It's just so good for a team, man. The range is relatively short, but yeah. Well, that's why you just gotta, yeah, you gotta play with some. Like, I, I've been, when we played together a little bit, I was trying to pop when I was around some obviously I couldn't comment, but when we're playing together, I was saying again, popping it, but also I'm gonna popping it. Yeah. Just like if you are, it's the healers using the beta boost, don't just use it, let your teammate know. No, so then it's, yeah. It's just so maybe he can come back to you if you chow some quick heal. I think it's also going to depend if you're attacking or defending like control or escort. Like some are just better. Like the shield guy's obviously better on defense than he is offense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas I think that uh, Dex X could be better on offense than defense. Yes. Or, so it's kind of like you were playing with those variables too. So I think there's always going to be, there has to be one guy who's left out. And I think it's probably going to be Dex X on defense and then offense it's probably going to be the flame guy maybe oh, yeah. and the flame guy in the hands of a good player though is going to be that it's really player. good with subs because his oh, damage dude. falls off in range so he's really good with subs that's when i use my Just for like defense uh or i mean one of the two yeah sub player mm-hmm. yeah I don't know, yeah. I think there's a chance the shield guy gets axed in the roll queue if there's a meta, just because if players do get up on the whole, let's get rid of the shields, then what's he really good for? He has 120 HP, man. That's true. That's true. His ult's really good still. Yeah. yeah. They're all pretty good, man. But we yeah, keep bringing up the two game modes. I will just, before we say they're all pretty good, I do think dead sec is the best but also the worst because in the other two game modes i do think he's the most useless They're like hard point and dom yeah you don't think he's gonna use some hard point no i think he'll still be good but out of the four i think just not having the same well, i think he's yeah. worse on push the card it's just you kind of know when people are gonna use their alts kind of like you get we were talking about before it's like you just time it up but then that then you're only playing four is all but i feel like as like i played i only played for him a little bit but like on push the cart, especially since stuff's like so spread out, like what is he like? Like what's he hacking there? And I don't think you can hack things from very far away. Like he can't hack a shield from like a forty. I'm saying he's not. I'm saying yeah. I mean, you're in general. I think he's the worst. I thought you said he was the best. In ways like there are ways you can see. He, it's just like he'd be fun to make a clutch play with or do some. Yeah, he so, reminds me of Doomfist from Overwatch. No one, he's horrible. No one runs him, but like five creeps in each country run him, and they're the best players in the planet. But like ninety nine percent of people are just like this guy is just not worth worth it. That's how I view him. The spider bot's really good. I just feel like he, like you can just 
like i didn't die to that thing one time especially when you're common emps and stuff like i don't know search and destroy would be the best so yeah it's a game mode he will be the best character yeah. the spider bot whether it gets him or not yeah throw that down with the lane and you should know. know there's a guy there yeah that's what like when i said that earlier i agree with that and just like you're up four three it's like swing round right when the round starts just fucking cancel all their ults duplicating names it's yeah. insane yeah i think i just find him tough though like especially the escort mode like throwing that spider bot and it like it has to walk that far no yeah, yeah. like if you can't shoot it out or nade it i don't know, I don't know. defending the spider bot's better attacking it's not as good because attacking you got to play with some speed but so you don't want to let that thing have to take its time to go but you are defending and you just drop that motherfucker yeah. right after you killed their team and they're and now they're respawning just drop it and let it take its time to go find them as they respawn back in yeah he that's where it's, it could work but he is cool it's just tough like dawson said the shield guy plus 20 the flamethrower or the extra cleaner damage. And extra damage uh walls <laughs> like heels heels heel walls and heels like those are probably the two best honestly What's it's looking at his passive you know the dash one's passive yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I actually know it. Yeah. Heal guys passive heal. You don't show up on mini map. Oh yeah, you're no matter what. You're, I, it's a range. I'm pretty sure. I think it's a range. But yeah, and I don't think you show up on people's walls. They're sonars. Or maybe you do. It's some like that. But it, it it is for sure the the radar thing. Yeah, it's like a range. You, you don't show up no matter if you're gun suppressed or not. Hmm. Because now I think of it, there's a lot of times I shoot someone aside and his teammate doesn't turn it. I'm just like, what is going on there? <laughs> Why is this guy turning it? On that point, though, like, once a game I see someone on the menu. I know it's hard. I don't get it either. I it's feel like, like I've never It must be the before. attachments yeah. they put in the game. Because but... they don't have a, the first suppressor doesn't have a disadvantage either, as far as I can tell. Like, it doesn't decrease your ADS speed or anything. You're still on the map for 0.5 seconds. Yeah. But right, you're not completely off. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll take suppressors out though. Well, I mean, they hit home like pretty hard. That there's red dots. Like I heard Mark Rubin say it 42 times, and then you play and you like literally see one a map, like one a match. Probably doesn't help that a lot of people just run the echelon guy, I guess. But yeah, they run that and they suppressors. Yeah, yeah. Cause suppressor. I mean, you're playing for yourself. Like you just don't want to be seen on the map. You're hitting flanks and stuff. Whereas the team one, if you like. Because when you play as a team, you know where the guy's going to be. Yeah. Because it's the power position you know he's going to yeah. be there when you're playing like an actual competitive You're game. on point. So you know he's going to be ready at. Whereas this, you can kind of flank, do whatever you want. There's no consequences. So mm. I think in ranked, you'll see less suppressors regardless of whether they're bad or not. Mm. Uh, what comes to your mind first about things that you would see um, not allowed in ranked restricted in ranked play when it's actually has restrictions what what item would you say and, and why would you want restricted yeah you like to pick one out of the whole bunch yeah just start with one probably go that old bouncing fucking bag. that's a rat <clears throat> hides in the weeds yeah. yeah no i'm just gonna go with shotguns shotguns yeah you feel like you're getting hit by them quite a bit I feel like I get one shot a lot, so it's kind of like I don't think they're gonna be ranked. Yeah, I got cross map by a double barrel today. Yeah. Yeah. Not very good. I shoot, I not shoot their good. body. <laughs> yeah, that's one v one. Okay, we'll roll clip. Okay. Side so one. <laughs> uh, I think they're gonna have to nerf every AR in the game. Personally, mm. so it's wrong. Or it's gonna be four ARs or three ARs automatic, which isn't cool. I think. What AR is the best, Lakey? Uh, battle Rifle, ACR. I think it's half a bullet right now to kill someone, which is cool. Oh, the DMR thing? Yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. Or no, yeah, did I say ACR? What's it called? The DM the ACR is good. No, yeah, I'm talking about the DMR. Yeah, the but what's it called? What's its acronym? A MK2 or something? Yeah, the sorry, the mm. DMR, not the ACR. The DMR is half a bullet to kill Clat an entire six people, I think. It's a joke. Yeah. I don't see it that much. Though, yeah, but yeah, I don't either. When I pick it up, dude, I'm like, this is the best gun in the game, and then I forget about it. And then yeah. I do it. I've seen you using it today. Yeah, because I picked off some dead oh, yeah. 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 Six times in a row in the kill feed. Yeah, it was pretty damn good. Um, I, Dude, I still think subs are good. No. Mm -hmm. 
but you can do your little pointer key. <laughs> no, I, I, dude, I was running an MP5 there just for fun. Obviously, I don't really run subs much. It seems like the MP7 is like what most people are using. Um, but I was running the MP5, no attachments, save uh, just a red dot site. Beam it. Yeah, that's good. Beam it. So, I don't know. Yeah, the subs do seem strong. The ARs to Wyatt's point. Yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting conversation. I guess we'll get into that. But restricted items. So I would have said a bouncing Betty as well. The reason why is because not only is the game all about movement, you can't stand still. So you have to be fast, which means you can't really clear a room to like look for them. They're hard to see. And the only time that I feel like I can get away from them is legitimately if I slide as like on accident i just time it it got time properly where i slide as it triggers but if i'm slot if i ever have the notification come up and then slide even get good distance doesn't work crowd like so so it's hard because they they play like in call of duty you could you could justify a claim more because the game's slower so it like then you would have to clear rooms and stuff and it would make more sense but in this game i don't think it makes any sense with how quick you have to move through the map um, sweet shotguns, bouncing betties, uh, the snipers need a nerf for sure. I don't know. They're kind of interesting, I think, to have in a game. Um, and it definitely takes away from like some strategic elements if you took them out, but a nerf for sure on those. Mm. Okay. I'll actually give one the pyro fucking throw at the ground. I think is dumb. I think that one's dumb. It's really good. I'd, yeah, both is really good. I don't think that one's that good. Like, using it, I just don't think it's that useful. Yeah, like, I've never I really know. used it, but... Like, you die to it sometimes, but it's, like, also he basically dies whenever he grounds at you and throws on the ground. I, I don't know. I think it's more like a one-for-one. One. Like, you're putting yourself in a bad position to use it, so it's not really that viable. Yeah, you don't think a high skill guy would probably use that kind no, of thing. No. Especially if you, like, have a team that can, like... Because I feel like I'm only dying to when... Like, there's a shield in front of him or something where I can't kill him before he slides in. Mm -hmm. So he's like, because it's like pretty close distance. So I think it's not not too crazy. So she'd have a team that could shoot him with you, but. Mm. Well, to the part of the video that everyone's here for, let's give our uh, best loadout and uh, best ultimate to use. Or best uh, character, I guess, with the, with the abilities. Okay. Uh, midway best map best gun mp7 chrome line barrel fast mag quick draw small vertical grip and faction cleaner purifier um i'm using the gun from the battle pass don't know what it's called i'm using the renetti as a backup uh i'm running phantom with the shield but I'm trying to stay flexible because the shield's not really good for some game modes and some attacking or defending so you gotta you gotta be able to adapt and, and change your play style accordingly but that's my typical yeah i'm rocking with the cleaner got the mp7 for sub the what's it called not the mcw the acr <laughs> acr acr for your long range if you're mixing it up and then i have the drone the explosive drone that's pretty good and uh yeah oh the stun grenade stun grenade yeah, map, I'm going to go midway, gun, I'm going to go MP7, ACR like Dawson. Uh, I've been rocking only and just the uh, Echelon character and backup Renetti. And for tactical, I go uh, Sticky Grenade sometimes. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I am, I am the Obligator. Double zero. Double zero. Four. Four. And 11. Uh, definitely go check out our last video it's where right you where can you learn a bit more yeah. about this team and our journey <laughs> right to becoming pros in X Defiance. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Peace. Peace.